one of the Consistency Challenge. I'm Kristen Navagliano, the founder of Create My Weight. Welcome again to this very, very important challenge. I'm excited to have you joining us. It's completely free. And over these next seven days, you are going to learn a lot about why you're not being consistent. And you're going to start to build some habits in building this consistency for you to reach your health and your weight loss and your maintenance goals. So day one, I'm talking about poor time management because this is one of the top seven ways that people are in, inconsistent. And so I want to explain to you a little bit of a tip as to how to be better with your time management. And this is one of the biggest complaints I hear because oftentimes people are busy with work, they're busy with their families, they are traveling, they just have a lot on their plate. And oftentimes they say that they're not consistent because they just don't manage their time properly. Um, and if you are in this category, make sure you comment um, in your post today with how this is a struggle for you. I'd love to learn more about that and why that's a struggle. So what I want to talk about today is something that's very valuable for you. It's called time blocking. And I know many of you have probably heard of this before, but I want to talk about what I mean by time blocking and what I want you to try to do this week, especially when it comes to that one habit that you're working on this week. Okay. So whatever your habit is, whether it's going for a walk, drinking more water, it is cooking a meal, it is going to bed on time. I want you to treat that habit like an appointment. Okay. It's an appointment with your accountant. It's a haircut. It's an appointment with your child's teacher, right? It's a meeting with your boss. I want you to treat it like it is the most important thing and you wouldn't miss it for the world. Creating habits is all about mindset and putting integrity and value into the habit itself. If we look at it as just drinking water and just going for a walk and just, oh, I gotta go to bed on time, just that very laissez-faire kind of attitude, it's never gonna happen but you will not miss a meeting with your child's teacher. You're not gonna miss a meeting with your boss. So when you have a habit, you are creating a meeting with yourself. You are making an appointment with your pillow in your bed to get to bed on time. When you wake up in the morning, you are making a meeting with the floor. I am putting two feet on the floor, I'm getting my butt up. All right, I love the Mel Robbins five second rule, five, four, three, two, get up. Right before you have time to talk yourself out of something, before you have time to hit the snooze button, before you have time to think, oh, I'm just gonna stay up a little bit later. Mm -mm. Five, four, three, two, one, do it. You're gonna de-escalate yourself and stop the spiraling of all those negative thoughts. Don't give yourself more than five seconds. If you do, you will more likely talk yourself out of it. Oh man, I don't really wanna go for a walk, but I know my habits to you know get 30 minutes a day. Five, four, three, two, where are my sneakers? They're going on my feet right now. All right, so there's another little tidbit for you. The five second rule, I love it. And then also just treating it like an appointment. Actually, one of my favorite um, examples is like a workout, right? Let's say your, your goal is to work out every day this week or do something active every day this week. I want you to put that as an appointment in your calendar and I want you to call it something that is valuable to you. So for example, I've worked with a lot of brides, okay? And brides wanna have a sexy arms, they want a sexy back to look great in their wedding dress. So I had a client once named Jessica, and she actually put in her phone, okay, on her, her Google Calendar, um, every time she was going to work out, it was called bringing sexy back from like 12 to one o'clock. It was, she worked out in the middle of the day. Bringing sexy back, like, and she would play the Justin Timberlake song, you know, during her workout or whatever. Or maybe she was just inspired by him, I have no idea. But that was like her way to be motivated to work out instead of just putting workout, you know, in her phone. Okay, or my sister, you know, she is an early bird, right? And she has to get up early, so I'm like doing it. I remember she named her alarm, early bird gets the worm. Early bird gets the worm. Call your alarm something that will motivate you, all right? Um, just naming it is a way to change your mindset around that. So it's not just putting the time into your calendar and treating it like an appointment, but it's also looking at it in a way that you realize this is a gift. This is an opportunity to succeed and grow. It's not just an, an obligation you have to fulfill for a silly challenge. This is not silly, by the way. Your life, your health, and your happiness are not si silly. This is real, and I know your goals are important to you. And so I want you to make this habit just as important as your child's teacher's meeting and when your boss needs you for something, or if your partner needs you for something, because you need something too. I'll get into that later this week, all right?
So there's my little tidbit for today of how to handle time management when we say we don't have time for the habits we want to create, for making time for ourselves. Mm -mm. We do. We always have time for things that matter. It's just us prioritizing it. So put it on your calendar, treat it like a very important appointment, and let's make it happen. All right? Comment below with your big takeaway from today and a photo proof of your habit and any other ahas you've had so far. All right, have a good day. Bye.